Hello learners, welcome back for the second part of the unit number 2, Growth and Development from your course to MA Education. So in this discussion, we will discuss about the various aspects of growth and development. As in the first part, we have discussed about the basic concept of growth, development, its relationship, differences, and the basic uh, stages of human development. Here, in this part, we will discuss about the aspect of growth and development. Then, principles of growth and development means growth and development take place in human being. But in what way? What are the basis? On the basis of which it takes place, we will discuss in terms of principles. Then we will summarize it and end the lesson. So let's start. So the uh, as we have come to know that growth is uh, dealt with the changes that is used in terms of size or in terms of number. And development implies the overall development of a particular person that take place he, in his or her life throughout the life or life cycle. There are some aspects. What are those which contribute to the overall development or overall personality of the person? What are those? Those are the aspects. First one is physical development. So growth and development take place in terms of physical development. Physical development means the outer bodily part, bodily changes that occurs in an individual. When a baby is born, he is born with a particular skinny size of body. Then as well as gradually, he attain weight, height, all his hair. We can see that the child is uh, born with less number of hair, but as soon as time grows, time passes, he attain the whole physical structure his uh, eyebrows, eyelashes, hair, all these things appears in terms of physical development. And there are lots of factors that contribute in the development of physical development, like the environment of the uh, family, the nutritional facilities that are providing to the child, then the, you know, the exercises the if the child is not doing a proper exercise like uh, playing dancing jumping then or then also it can hamper the physical development so physical development is the basic because all other development is uh, dependent on the physical development if the physical development of a particular child or a particular person is not proper then he cannot uh, gain proper mental development it is not like that he will not be mentally mentally developed person but he cannot give proper concentration on study he cannot think because because there is a proverb if the physic is happy if, if the person is physically healthy he is mentally healthy so we should the teachers the parents the other family members and the society must give proper importance the on the physical development of the child because physical development is the root of all other development then intellectual and mental development another important aspect of development is mental development so mental what is mental development we know that when a child is born he is born or endowed with some mental capacities like a uh, intelligence like uh, creativity all these things are inborn but these are the characteristics that are to be nourished that are to be garnished so uh, he the child cannot just memorize all the thing he see or he get when time passes on he gain the mental development he is able to, you know, he is able to recognize, he is able to uh, recall, he is able to, uh, means uh, all the things that are concerned with the mental practice. Therefore, therefore, the, there should be a proper condition. Here also we have some factors. The family factors, the school factor, after the school, after the family, the school is the important environment where he gets the proper nutrition for mental development. Nutrition in terms of 
proper environment, healthy environment, good curriculum, good good practice of teaching method by the teachers, then only he can attain the proper intellectual and mental development. Then third one is emotional development. If we expect child to be of a good characteristics of our a uh, child of proper development, then we, he must attain emotional maturity as well as emotional development. Because we know that uh, emotional maturity is very much important for gaining the goal of life. If a person is emotionally disturbed, emotionally not proper, healthy, then he cannot concentrate on the life goals. Therefore, emotional development is a very important aspect of development. So, the, uh, the family, the school, the teachers, the peers, the friends and all other person who were concerned with a particular person must provide the emotional safety, emotional security to the person and then only he can attain a good emotional development stage. Then moral and character development. For a good personality, we must have a good moral or character. We must have some good morality. What is right, what is wrong, what is, ra what is uh, you know, perfect and what is not good for our life. It must be developed, it must be attained by the particular child. Otherwise, he will mislead, he will be misled in his life. If he is not able to find out the right and right and wrong, if he is not able to distinguish between uh, this uh, good and bad, he will not be able to do the proper thing. He will be misled, and this will mislead his life goals. Then social development. We all know that we basically concentrate on the thing that we are social being. So, if we are social being, we have to stay in the society by maintaining social contact and relationship. And for this, we need, we have to acquire some social qualities. If we want our child to be socially healthy, social person, then we have to provide them such environment where he can attain the social qualities, social moralities. Only after that he will abide by the social rules and regulation. And if there is a lack of that, he will be socially deprived person or he will be a he will be he will be not accepted by the society because he will be destroying the rules and regulations. Therefore, the school, the family and all the person who were concerned with the children's life, they must give proper importance of or proper attention to the social development, which is the most important aspect of our education. And all these contribute to the total development of a child. Because we all know that the modern aim of education or the, the important thing that education is putting, at putting attention is all round development. So if we want as a teacher, as a parent, if we want to accomplish this goal of all round development, we have to put emphasis on all this aspect of development on our child, on our student, on our learner. And all this contribute to the total personality development. Okay. Then we will discuss the principles of development. I have already mentioned that that growth and development take place in human life and development is the process which continues throughout the life. But in what way? What way? In what direction? In what pattern development take place? Whenever we have to do something, we, we follow some regulations. Likewise, development also follows some regulation, some, some rules, and these rules are considered or uh, termed as principles. So there are, some, there are lots of principles of development. We will discuss the important one. The first one is principle of direction or pattern. So direction or pattern means in what way, 
in what direction development take place in life in a person first one is called top to bottom direction in psychological term it is called cephalocaudal cephalocaudal means the development when a baby is uh, conceived in mother's womb the development start from the top to bottom the first development that take place in the head part and gradually it continues to the bottom part and it is called as cephalocaudal direction then we have another developmental uh, pattern that is proximo distal it is called proximo distal mean the development proceed from center to the outward body the first development the first thing a child that attain is development in the central part of the body and then it outwards in the hand in the in the fingers because when you, you will see the child can first what he can first uh, sit sit centers means he can he can get the control in the center part and then he can hold the pen or ball like this so this direction take place in terms of the proximo distal direction then another important principle is here it is locomotion locomotion means motor development motor activity the child cannot directly just jump first he will crawl then he will just stand with the help of something object or some thing then he can stand on his own then he can walk jump dance and all the thing it is the principle of locomotion this is the most important principle of development that is term as principle of direction or pattern first one is cephalocaudal proximo distal and locomotion then there are another uh, principle that is principle of development or development is continuous i am continuously stating this point that development is a continuous process it start at the time of conception and continuous throughout the uh, pregnancy period continuous through the life of the birth and it ends before birth and death so it is a continuous process because development includes all the changes that take place in human life therefore continuity is another important principle of development then development depends on maturation and learning we have discussed this in the first part that there are some aspect or there are some uh, factors of development there were maturation growth experiences so maturation and learning development is the product of maturation and learning why if i want to attain development in a particular field suppose in the field of swimming if a child want to attain particular development in terms of singing talking writing for this what he need he need maturation because if you want to write he has to attain maturity is controlling the hands the fingers then he must learn without learning how to write a how to write b how to write c he cannot make sentences so it is just a example suppose he want to attain singing the development in song singing then he must attain the vocal maturation in the vocal cord he must speak maturation in the vocal cord then he must know how to sing because all cannot sing to sing to dance first of all we must learn and how we will learn we will learn through experiences okay therefore development has this uh, principle that it follows maturation and learning then another principle that development follows is development proceed from general to specific what it means it means that general uh, generally development takes place in all human being we all it may be in assam it may be in delhi it may be in rajasthan any part of the country or any part of the world 
the development follows the same process. Same process means the bodily structure of everyone. No? It's not like that I am born in America and therefore my bodily structure will not be like the other part of the country. No. It will be same because the color may be changed, the eye, eye color may be strained, the hair color may be changed, but the structure of development, the first the development in the head part, then in the lower bottom, the process of walking, first crawling, then sitting, then standing, then walking, all these processes are same in everywhere, in everywhere. Therefore, it is general. Then it comes to the specific. There are some special, there are some special cases or there are some children who can specially speak at an earlier age. It is specific. But in, in general, all child speak at a particular time. Generally, all children stand or can walk at their own when they reach one year of age. But there are some specific cases. Some children can walk before one year or at the nine month. It is specific. It, it, there are lots of conditions responsible for this. Or, or there, are some, there may be some child who cannot stand or walk even after one year or two years. That is too specific. But in general, it follows the principle of general to specific. Okay, then another important principle of development is individual differences. Yes, though development takes place in general, but there are individual differences. All individual, all child uh, attain development in their own rate. Someone is developing at a fast rate, someone is developing at low rate. It, we cannot compare between two child even between twins they because they have their own individual rate of development in in a class we have lots of students of same ranges same age ranges but all children are not the same their uh, iqs the the way of understanding the quality of reading writing all are not same because they have individual differences then another important, most important thing is that development involves changes. Development itself is change. All the changes, it may be physical, mental, social, moral, emotional, all changes that we attain as a person in our life, throughout our life, is development. Then. Development is the product of interaction between heredity and environment. It is the product of heredity and environment. What we are, this physical structure, this personality, what it is, it is nothing but the result of environment and heredity. Heredity, why heredity? Because whatever characteristics, our bodily part, our appearances, our color, our eye structure, face structure, all these are transmitted to us from our parents, grandparents, through the genes. It is heredity. And what we are, how I am talking, what personality I am holding or you are holding is the result of the environment. So the development, the development of a person is the inter result of interaction between heredity and environment. Heredity gives us the structure and environment nourishes it. Okay, then another important uh, principles that uh, development process is uh, follow is predictability. That means we can predict development. Because on the basis of the activities, on the basis of the changes, we can predict our child's development. If he is uh, very good at writing or he, if, if he attain, uh, you know, changes in terms of some morality in a particular way, then we can predict that 
in future this particular child will be a very good person or he may be a good artist he may be a good cricketer how in terms of the behavior we are observing in terms of the chances and behavior he is attaining and those though on the basis of experiences and learning okay then we should know what are the educational implications of these uh, principles of growth and development we have discussed about growth and development its relationship with maturation then uh, its differences then we have discussed about the principles of development that it follows in terms of attending changes but the question arises in our mind why it is important for a teacher to know about the principles of development why should we know as a teacher we should know the child very well and how we can know the child if we are able to find out the developmental chances in them properly we are able to identify their qualities therefore in terms of education when when it comes about education it is very important it has lots of educational implication because the principles knowledge of edu- knowledge of this principle by a teacher or by a parent will help him to know the child or student very well what are his qualities what are his drawbacks all can be identified the teacher then it will help the teacher to guide the child in the direction of group in what direction he should go we can or teacher can or the parents can help with the help of the knowledge of the principles then it can create a platform for them yes when we identify the qualities in the child we can give them a platform on on where they can show it they can display it and they can develop it then to draw out the base from them mahatma gandhi always emphasizes on the thing to know to draw out the base of the child because children are the future generation if we want to make our nation make our society a successful one a good one we have to put emphasis on the child because they are the future so to get the future ready we have to draw out the base from them because nature god a heredity has given them all the thing it is it is the duty of the environment environment mean the family environment school environment society environment to find out the best what are the best it them nourish it and develop it and make them a good resource of the society so therefore the all teachers must know the principles of development uh so in this way we have come to the end of this part or end of the lesson so what we have learned we have learned about the discuss about the various aspect of growth and development what are those those are physical intellectual moral you know and social there are, there are other aspect also but this are the important one and the principle that we have discussed about development are continuity pattern uniformity individual differences general to specific predictability and so on on so i think uh, you have through this discussion you have come to know about the basic idea about the principles of development and why should you and all the teachers should know about it thank you very much and we will meet again in the next uh, session next video with a new topic thank you